all right you guys today is christmas um i did not really plan on doing any gig work but i've been checking these apps all morning like amazon shipped and i know that they were not going to be open today but i was still checking as if it were so nonetheless i looked at the doordash app and there are just so many promos right now and i'm like let me go and get this money i already opened my gifts and i ate breakfast that my sister cooked and I'm like, okay, well, y'all about to cook. So dinner won't be ready till what, four, five. So let me not sit around here watching y'all cook and talking. Let us let me just go get some money. So that's what I'm out here about to do. So I just claimed my first CVS order through DoorDash and it's paying like $10.50 to grab two items going 2.5 miles. But I think it's only really like one and a half miles because I was one mile away from CVS so I'm here now this is my first time doing this kind of order I think via DoorDash yeah no 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 I've done this before never mind I did do this before via DoorDash so I'm here let me just go and see what they want I will get back with you guys in a minute okay so I found the item that the customer wants it's this one right here but there's a lock on this cabinet. So I have to go get an associate. It's the last one left. This is annoying. All right, so this is the second item I need. Same issue. Same issue. All right. Okay, so I just dropped off that CVS order and it actually wasn't bad. And now that I recall, that is my first time doing a DoorDash CVS order. The only other time I've done a CVS order, it was through Shipped. Um, because once I started to go through the prompts, I realized that it was different than how Shipped is set up. So what you had to do, or what I had to do, was pick out the items. Once I found the item, you just select Add Item or Add One of that item. Then once you get all of the items, which it was just two for me, um, once you confirm everything, they have the cashier scan a barcode. Once you click that the barcode has been scanned, you just swipe your card, you check out, and then it said that you're supposed to upload the receipt, but it didn't give me a prompt to upload the receipt, but I still have the receipt just in case. But it was fairly easy, and the customer was actually 0.8 miles from CVS, so that worked out just fine. Now I'm at China City, about to do an order. It's paying like $11.50. It said 5.3 miles, but I think I was like one and a half miles away from it. So the drop off shouldn't be more than like 3.8 miles. Y'all know my math is a little sketchy. So yeah, but anyway, let me go get this order and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, you guys, I just dropped off that order from China City and the customer was at the door with this. It's $7 in cash. So it's looking really nice today. So I've made approximately $28. And now I'm about to do another order. It's at a place called D-Town something. And it's paying, I wanna say $11. The mileage was about 5.2 miles, but it took me like maybe three miles to get here. So the customer should only be like two miles away if that. So let me go inside and I will be back. So here I am doing another CVS order and it's to grab one item paying $10.50 to go 1.2 miles. And all they wanted was a case of Coca-Cola and it's right here. So this took me maybe 45 seconds to grab it and maybe a minute or two to check out. So really, really easy day for me. Here is another CVS order grabbing two items paying $11.50 and they only wanted two pops that's it some people call it soda where I'm from we call it pop so I am in the beverage section of the store looking for Sprite and Canada Dry that's what I'm looking for so I found the Sprite which is a two liter and now I am looking for the Canada Dry as you can see, I've never, well, it's been a while since I've been to this location, but I decided to look down this aisle and then I see the other brands and I'm like, nope, that's not what the customer wanted. 
And then I found it hidden all the way in the back, right there. Then I realized I had the wrong size Sprite. It was a smaller one, so I grabbed it and kept it moving. So there's the Sprite in the Canada Dry and I can officially check out. Okay, so I just dropped off that order. I just got a request to go to Wild Wild West Wings, 1.2 miles, $12. I gotta get this bag today, you guys. I just got to. So, and I had no intentions on working today, but what else is there to do but make money? And it's snowing. So that might be the reason why it's so busy and it's like these high paying promos because it's snowing and where I'm from, nobody's leaving the house really. So see you guys a little bit later. All right, you guys, I am still out here and I just went in the wrong direction. Like three miles in the wrong direction so now I am headed three miles in the correct direction I don't know how I messed that up it, you know it's Apple Maps it's not even me like when I clicked when you accept an order on DoorDash and you click get directions I was going the way that it sent me and once I pulled up to the restaurant and you and I confirmed that I was there DoorDash was like, are you sure you're at the location? Once I looked up at the store name and looked in the app, they're both fish and chicken places, but my GPS took me to a different fish and chicken place, not the correct one. So maybe this used to be their location, but now it's not. So I don't know, but I'm headed in the correct direction. I will see you guys later. All right, you guys, I am all done for today. I just wanted to close this video out and let you guys know exactly how much I made. Now, first, before I do that, let me tell you guys about this contract violation. So what happened was I claimed an order and in the app, I forget how many miles it said that I was supposed to drive. So you know when you claim an order and you click on the button that says get direction. So as soon as I click on that, my GPS routed me to the wrong location. So when I got to that incorrect location, I selected confirm, like, you know, when you say confirm at store. So I clicked on that and then I got this notification that said, are you sure you want to confirm you're at the store? And so I'm like, okay, let me double check everything. So I look up at the restaurant and it said like fish and chicken, but the name of the restaurant was supposed to be Aladdin fish and chicken. And so I'm like, maybe they just don't have the word Aladdin on here. So then I double check the address and I'm like, I'm on that street. But then I realized that I was at the wrong one. Okay. Now the one I was at, I think it was like an older location because it was still a fish and chicken place. It just wasn't the one that the app told me to go to. So I manually entered the address into the GPS and it sent me back in the direction that I just came from, which was the correct location. And so that's why I was late for 12 minutes. Um, so it's a contract violation on my record. So this is the second one this year. I did, um, it tells you once you click on it, it says something about provide additional detail, something like that. So I, I, I typed everything that I just told you guys. Like as soon as I clicked on get directions, it sent me somewhere else. I put the address in the description that, like when it prompts you to enter all of the details that you have, I put that address in there. So hopefully it goes away. On top of that, it's snowing and the roads are not that, the roads are not in the best condition, okay? So hopefully I'm forgiven for that one because it, it really was not my fault. But outside of that, I made $132.50 today and I got some cash tips. So, so $141.50 is what I made today, which is really good because I didn't plan on making anything. I had no intentions on working today, but I saw the high paying promos. My friend reached out to me and said, do you see what's going on right now? And I turned that thing on. I did a few CVS orders, maybe three today. They were actually not that bad. For some reason, it did not prompt me to upload the receipt for any of them. So if anybody out there has done a CVS order, let me know how it went for you because it didn't ask me to upload the receipt at all. Outside of that, today was a very good day.
very good day. Um, I didn't work much, maybe five hours, something like that. I know I worked three hours before I ate. My sister was cooking and I'm like, I don't have to eat. You know what I'm saying? I told you guys before, when I see that money, I'd rather go work. I will come back and eat and break bread with you guys later. But, you know, family just insists that you eat, you know, during the holidays. I can miss out on all of that. I need to get this money. That's all I have for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.